What's up YouTube? Jerry Land here again, finally back here doing reviews with you guys and I am so excited to be here. So, first off, I just want to say that I'm sorry to all my subscribers and all my viewers out there for being MIA for about a month or so. I've actually been applying to grad school, so wish me luck. I've been super busy with that, but on the plus side, that means that in my room currently, I have stacks on stacks of products that are just ready to be reviewed and shared with all of you. So, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and click that subscribe button below so you can be notified when all these awesome product reviews come out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's product. Alright, so today we're going to be taking a look at the GoPro Hero 4 Silver. It retails for $3.99 and I am super excited about this product. So, I've been testing this guy out for about a month now, and I'm going to go ahead and show you what's inside the box and give you my top five reasons why I think this is the best GoPro out there to buy today. Alright, so in the box you get your standard waterproof housing that can go up to 131 feet. It's great that it comes with that. You get your two different back doors. One is a touchscreen back door, actually. And then you also get a curved and a flat adhesive mount, plus this little... A uh, white silicone piece that'll help keep your GoPro safe. You get two quick release buckles. You can decide which one you like using better. You get one mini USB cable. I do wish that this was a micro USB cable, but at least they do provide this for you to use. And this box, a lot of people throw away the GoPro box, so I'm telling you now, keep it. This can be used as another mount. Look on top. That's a mount that you can place on your desk and use it with the box or you can cut the top of the box off and just use it as a flat mount but keep the box and there you have it that's what comes in the box besides your GoPro of course and one battery alright so kicking off our top five reasons in no particular order we're going to talk about overall design first so you'll notice that the two little circles next to the power button have now been moved to the two little slits next to the settings menu those are the new little circles the top, the bottom, the back, and the front, you'll notice that they still have the red recording lights that really do come in handy. So there are some slight changes, but not too many. I'll give you a few angles so you can try to see um, what's new and what might still be the same. So right here, you'll see the settings slash wireless button is now a different icon. It's the wrench, not the wireless icon. There is your built-in touchscreen. And of course, my favorite part, the battery pack location on the bottom now, not the back. This allows for that built-in touchscreen, and it just makes so much more sense. Most cameras have their battery packs at the bottom for a reason, and I'm glad that GoPro finally decided to do this. Alright, besides that, if you look at the front, the settings menu now has a black border around it, which I feel really does contrast the writing and the um, numbers on the menu. Let me know below if you feel the same way. So, to me, it looks easier to read. I like that new design. And, of course, there is the built-in touchscreen that we'll talk about. Coming in at reason number four, we're going to talk about the new battery. It is now thinner. It's an 1160 milliamp battery, where the previous one was an 1180 milliamp battery. So you'd think that this would lose a lot of battery life, but thanks to other YouTubers' tests, we only lose about five minutes. So the previous one lasted about two hours and ten minutes, and this one is two hours and five minutes, which really does not make that big a difference. I love that it is thinner. It allows for that built-in touchscreen now, and it allows for us to put the battery back at the bottom. So there you have it. Reason number three is that your GoPro will now be a lot thinner, thanks to the built-in touchscreen. Now that you don't need the LCD touchback, your GoPro is going to look thinner, but also you're not going to have to pay for the extra housing in order to fit that touchback. I think most GoPro users would agree that having that extra screen to frame up your shots, or even the ease of using the touch capabilities, really is worth it. So having that all built into the Hero 4 really is a super good benefit of this new model. All right, reason number two, let's go ahead and talk about pricing. I truly believe that the Hero 4 Silver really gets you the most bang for your buck. Let me tell you why. Unless you're in elementary school or middle school and you're getting the GoPro as a present, the Hero or the Hero 3 White really is out of the question for someone who's really um, an action um, filming fanatic or capturing fanatic and you are actually going to get use out of your GoPro. So don't worry about the entry level models. Let's compare the Hero 3 Plus versus the Hero 4 Silver. So out of these two, there's only a $100 price difference. And the functionalities of the Hero 4 Silver and the Hero 3 Plus Silver are 
there aren't they aren't that different. Um, there are some differences that you can just look up easily. I'm not going to talk about those. But what is different is the built-in touchscreen and the fact that the battery is thinner and placed in a different place. And I think those things really matter. So like I mentioned, a lot of GoPro users actually really do enjoy having that extra screen to frame up your shots. Um, with the touchscreen, it also, like I said, it's um, really easy to use compared to using that little setting screen that you have to um, click through. But like I mentioned, a lot of people like that. So they're going to end up buying an LCD touchback if you're getting the Hero 3 Plus. And like I said, it adds a lot of bulk. But why not just get the Hero 4 Silver, which is only 100 bucks more, and the touchscreen is already built in. Whereas in the Hero 3 Plus, if you buy that plus another LCD touchback, you're only saving maybe like 20, 30 bucks because those touchbacks are not cheap. So between those two, you can easily see why the Hero 4 Silver is more worth it. And in comparison to the Hero 4 Black, I honestly would not buy that unless you are a serious professional photographer slash um, videographer and you are really just looking for an action camera that has 4K uh, capabilities that are higher than the Hero 3 Plus and the Hero uh, 4 Silver because they also can shoot 4K but just at a very um, uh, I, I think it's half the setting that the Hero 4 Black can do. So unless you are a professional videographer or photographer, don't get the Hero 4 Black. It's not worth that $500, $500 price tag. So again, there you can see, this is why I think that the Hero 4 Silver really is the most bang for your buck. And of course, all the other reasons, uh, the top reasons that we mentioned before. Here we go, our final reason why you should get a GoPro Hero 4 Silver over all the other GoPros out there, and you've heard it already, the touchscreen. So I'm going to show you how it works. To unlock screen, slide the orange circle down and hold it. There you go, now our screen's unlocked. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so that you can see a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and show you how the screen works. So you slide in from the right side and you can see your menu. You can change from video to single shot to burst to playback to setup and it's just super easy. I'm actually genuinely surprised at how the how well the touchscreen works. So it's super easy to use, it's super simple to navigate. I like the minimalistic, um, simplistic design uh, that they don't add in a super, super um, crammed in bunch of features. And there you have it, it's just nice and easy to use. Scrolling up and down is easy, pressing, um, click in is super easy, and I just really love this touch capability. I would hate to use the old GoPro models and have to click through that little tiny setup screen. So this button right here actually locks the touch screen, which is super handy, um, so you don't accidentally bump it or touch it um, while you're trying to record or shoot a, um, capture a photo or something like that. Um, again, it still has the different ports so that you can add on a battery pack or the LCD touch pack, which I don't know why you would want to add on, but it does have that. Um, it has the ports right there and that is about it. There's not much to say except that the built-in touchscreen is amazing. I love it. There you see it. You see the little ports I was talking about. Um, and that is about it. This is the GoPro Hero 4 Silver. And again, this is the GoPro that I highly, highly recommend for you. Um, you've seen it. You've seen all the different functions and my top five reasons why you should buy it. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you that I have a ton of GoPro products in my room just ready to be reviewed. There are tons of awesome ones coming out. So like I mentioned earlier, if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and click that button below. Subscribe so you can be notified when all those awesome products come out. Besides GoPro products, I have a ton of other things I need to review as well since I have been MIA for so long. But again, my name is Jerry Lan. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much for being a viewer and hopefully a subscriber. Bye-bye.